How's it going, guys? It is 1.52 a.m. Saturday, 11th of March here in Japan. We have a passable question for Pediatrics 2CK as well as MSK Anatomy for Step 1. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give it a like. really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, mehl man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel down below. And I start the clip. 12-year-old boy has a two-week history of left hip pain and an ontologic gait. Vocabulary word you need to know that shows up all over PEDS forms, which simply means walking with a limp. Okay, it's not specific for any one condition. He's at the 50th percentile for height, 97th percentile for weight. Vitals are within normal limits. He's had no recent infections. This is an important detail. No recent infections. I'll explain this as we move through the question. X ray is shown. Question wants normal sex explanation for patient's presentation. You look at the x ray here. This is very, very buzzy. Okay, I found an easy x ray off Google where we labeled what the issue is. This looks like an ice cream cone, okay? Ice cream slipping off its cone, all right? Now let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice A, acute inflammatory reaction of synovial lining of hip joint, very verbose answer choice, wrong fucking answer. This would refer to toxic synovitis, aka transient synovitis. If you're staying for step one, you never heard of it before. Step two, you need to know this is going to be viral infection followed by hip pain, okay? Why this happens, very fucking weird, but you need to know this is not septic arthritis. They like to contrast that. Uh, you need to know that the patient with toxic slash transient can bear weight and often does not have leukocytosis. Okay, there will not be erythema or warmth of the hip joint. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, a vascular necrosis. Actually, real quick, you need to know ibuprofen NSAIDs is what we give for toxic synovitis and never give aspirin in kids uh, for a raised syndrome, of course. Choice B of vascular necrosis, wrong fucking answer. This refers to leg calf parathes or leg calf parathes, which is going to be idiopathic avascular necrosis of the femoral head in a kid five to eight, all right? And the x-ray will show you a contracted slash compacted femoral head. It'll look flatter, okay? That's what you need to know. X-ray can be negative. And if it is, they want bone scanner MRI to diagnose. It's asked once on one of the PEDS forms, okay? That you do a bone scanner MRI in that case. And leg calf parathes, you're going to do hip replacement. And I repeat that this is idiopathic avascular necrosis. If we have a known secondary cause, such as sickle cell causing avascular necrosis, chronic glucocorticoid use, which would be rare in PEDS anyway, Gaucher, okay, one of the lysosomal storage diseases, we don't call it leg calf parathes. It's only leg calf parathes if it's idiopathic, but the age five to eight, very important, which we, of course, are not in that age range here. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, bacterial infection with grand positive cogite and cluster staph aureus, wrong fucking answer. So this, this, of course, would refer to septic arthritis, septic joint which as I contrast to a toxic slash transient synovitis, if they want septic joint, they will give you the patient being unable to bear weight with leukocytosis, obviously uh, vignette variables such as warmth, okay, so uh, calor, and also ruber redness. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, disruption of epiphyseal plate, correct answer. Diagnosis, skiffy. Slipped capital femoral epiphysis. First time you're hearing about it, sounds very nitpicky and weird. Promise you this is past level, okay? Obviously shows up on 2CK Pediatrics. It does show up on step one, a little bit more rare, but 2CK all over the place. And we get the disruption of the, of the epiphyseal plate of the hip, which looks colloquially like ice cream slipping off its cone. You need to know this x-ray. And as I contrasted just a moment ago, if we have avascular necrosis of the femoral head, they're going to give you a contracted slash compacted or flattened femoral head, but this is ice cream slipping off the cone. And it's going to be classically a pre-adolescent 11 to 13 year old overweight boy with a painful limp. That is your textbook easy vignette, which I gave you here. This is a past level question. There are two questions floating around peds where it differs. There's one where they don't tell you the BMI. They just say, kid who's 13 and he's got a hip issue and there's no other information. You're like, what the fuck? Like, how are we supposed to know? Well, it's the age range, okay? So 11 to 13-ish. The other vignette, they tell you the kid has a BMI of 20, he's not overweight, and then they show you a very buzzy x-ray such as this. And that's also what the fuck, because you say, well, I thought the kid had to be overweight. Well, the NBME wins. So we learn that 
It doesn't always have to be the case. It's textbook, yes, but it doesn't have to be the case. So you're going to do pinning, okay, surgical pinning to treat. Lastly, poorly developed acetabulum, wrong fucking answer. This is going to be primary hip dysplasia. This is going to be a kid who has clicking, clunking, Ortolani, Barlow maneuvers. So you're going to do ultrasound to a newborn. So ultrasound uh, under six months to diagnose, x-ray over six months. And prior to the imaging, if it's listed, you're going to choose ortho consult. Okay, it sounds wrong. You say consults, uh, uh, they sound weird, but... If you do the clicking clunking and it's there, if ortho consult listed, choose it. If not, ultrasound under six months, x-ray over six months. And you're going to do a Pavlik harness, P-A-V-L-I-K harness to treat, which is an abduction, A-B duction harness, frog leg looking harness. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal makes you make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.